Hi everyone, we are here with Tel uh, with PrimeSense and uh, PrimeSense is here at Google I.O. and uh, they are showing off their new 3D sensor called Capri. Yeah. And uh, Capri, the, the thing about it is you can take the same kind of sensor that you would find in the Kinect, but yeah. you shrink it down to about one-tenth the size, maybe yes. even a little bit smaller. So, uh, Tal, can you tell us a little bit more about what you're showing off at I.O.? Okay, so what we're showing is our next generation, uh, which we have uh, announced in CS uh, start of this year. Uh, the whole idea is to take uh, the amazing depth you have in our first generation, which is in the Kinect, uh, and now put it into uh, embedded devices, meaning tablets, mobile, PCs, every single consumer which is embedded. Uh, so for that, we actually made it smaller, cheaper, and much better performance. Okay? So you can see this here. This is the Capri. It's in a big case. Uh, but okay. if you take off the case, uh, then you actually come up with less than a 7 millimeter uh, small sensor, which you can put into any of today's smartphones or tablets. Okay. So here you can see an example of an application developed by one of our uh, partners. Uh, we have several tens of thousands of partners in OpenNI. Uh, this one is by, done by Nconex. They're based in Belgium, a cool company. Uh, and what you can see here, I've taken an image of uh, our lobby here. Uh, and now I'm going to take any one of these uh, pre-scanned uh, 3D items. And you can imagine having here uh, an IKEA catalog in 3D. Uh, and I will now take the object and place it in the scene. And now you actually see, you can see your object in the scene, okay, and see how it actually looks in real life. You have here full depths, and you have uh, occlusions, so you can put one object here. And let me try and push this to the wall, and you see you can't push it anymore. So this is actually your actual size living room, and you can go behind objects. Uh, let's put another one. And very easily, you can now decorate your home. And Brad, what's good about this for me and you is that we're not going to go shopping with our wives anymore. Uh, we're going to do all the decorating in home. Okay? See how simple it is actually decorating in real life everything. Uh, you have depth, full depth here, full dimensions, really like real life decorating, but no furniture to move. Okay, so very, very easy, very cool. And this is an example of one application which is going to change a whole area of decorating and buying stuff for homes or for any environment. Okay? Okay. Let's move to another one. Okay. All right, now, of course, you're showing this on Android. Uh, you have an SDK available that developers can take advantage of. Yep. Part of this, uh, PrimeSense is uh, going to be working with OEMs to embed this uh, kind of technology into phones and tablets, right? Of course. We are a technology company. Uh, we are 150 people based in Tel Aviv. Mm -hmm. It will take much more than that to bring this to consumers. So we will be working together with the big OEMs. They will take technology, embed it into, our, into their devices, and then go to the community of developers, a huge community of CV developers, CV's computer vision, and they will create the applications and create the amazing UI. Okay. So you can see here the device is actually seeing everything in 3D. Okay, so you can see it recognizes the floor and the objects and, and the walls. Yep. Uh, so and three. people. And people, of course. Uh, and now, by the way, you see this chair here. Mm -hmm. uh, once I will touch this chair, I will get the side of the chair. So now the phone knows the dimensions of every single pixel in, in, in the image. So if I touch a chair, if I touch a couch, if I touch a sofa, you can immediately get its full dimensions. Okay? Okay. So now if my daughter comes here, I'll touch it and immediately I will know her height. So no more standing in, in front of a wall with an encyclopedia on the head and marking uh, uh, my girl's height. Uh, I'll just touch the screen and immediately I get the height and the application will do the rest for me. Okay. okay. So that's this one. Okay, the next one is done by uh, ActiveMe. Okay. And they are uh, doing augmented reality. Now you can see here, I'm, I have Al Alice, and I'm controlling Alice. She's in the room. Oh, Alice just walked through yeah, that and guy. She is now, yeah, she's now collecting flowers. Okay, and you can see if I push Alice towards the wall, she can't go in the wall because it, it's an augmented reality, which is actually interactive reality. She's connecting flowers, and if they don't 
Uh, if she doesn't do this in time, then the zombies will eat her up. I hate it uh, when that happens. Yeah, so, but you see, she's walking in the room. Now imagine she can be now jumping up on chairs, she can walk behind objects. Okay, she's bumping into the chair, she can't go there. So the device knows the environment, and now I'm dead by the zombies. But you can <laughs> have Alice, or you can have a spaceship here, which you are flying in your room. You can have a vehicle, which is now dancing, uh, excuse me, uh, uh, driving in your room, and all in momentum reality, which is interacting with the environment. Okay. okay? So again, what, what we've see, uh, shown here is just very uh, uh, few applications. Uh, it's, it's endless. Let's look at another one. This is done by Occipito, the partner for us here in the U.S. We all believe that very soon consumers will have 3D printing at home, right? Uh, but what use is having a 3D printer if you don't have an input device for 3D? Okay? But you will have it because it will be in your tablet or in your mobile phone. It will be going with you everywhere. So now, see this object. I will now, in a couple of seconds, using the occipital middleware, I will now scan it and you will have a 3D image of this object. See this? Okay. In a couple of seconds, you have a 3D images of this object and it's scanned and it's sub one millimeter accuracy. So now I have this object in 360 degrees. I can now send it to a 3D printer. I can send it to my wife who's at home and she will now actually see this object in real time in 3D in our living room. And she can say, oh, it's cool, you can buy it. So no more buying stuff and then returning them because my wife will see exactly how it looks in 3D. Okay? So this is really cool and you saw it took me three seconds to get this. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so, so really, it's adding convenience and saving marriages all at the same time. <laughs> exactly, saving marriages and saving convenience. Uh, technology, really, yeah, love it. Technology. Exactly. I think what I can say is, in, in terms of the technology, we have solved the barriers. The mm -hmm. technology is ready. Uh, it's our next generation, so it's already been used by the market. Uh, over 25 million uh, uh, people are using this technology. Right. So, in, in in terms of technology, it's there. It's ready. It can go to the mass market. And really, now it's up to the big OEMs to take this and bring this to market. So it's up to them when it will be. Uh, but there is no barrier now in bringing this to market. We're already, what we've shown here is you know, what we've done in the last month. So we had this event, and we came to some of our developers, and we said, hey, we have a month, let's, let's do something quick and nice. <laughs> and we came up with a couple of cool applications. Uh, if you give this to the community, and they know there is a big OEM uh, uh, bringing this to market, you will see hundreds and thousands of applications. You have today over 150,000 of applications on 2D imaging on any given app store. You'll probably have just the same amount of 3D applications once it's out there. So we're just waiting for it to happen. Great. Well, thanks, Tal. Definitely appreciate you taking some time. Uh, this is Brad with Engadget, and uh, we're here with PrimeSense. Okay, thanks a lot.